Crypto Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What are cascading parameters in SSRS report? Cascading parameters are parameters in which the value of a second parameter depends upon the value we have selected in the first parameter. So let's go ahead and take a look so you can explain the scenarios in the interview. Think about a report that we would like to create that has two parameters. So we are going to create a report from total sale table which has the one parameter that single value parameter region is equal to region and country in at the rate country so if you see here in this query we have a region equal to region parameter so we have a region column and country equal to sorry in at the rate country so this is single value parameter as we have equal to sign and this is multi value parameter as we have in clause now depending on the value what we select in the region in the other parameter country those values should be displayed so that make it them cascading parameter so let's go ahead and see the values few few of them here as you can see that i have region north america asia and europe and the countries related to those regions let's go ahead and create a quick report and so you will have really good idea so i'm creating a data set and i can call this one main query so this is exactly you are going to explain in the interview so you will be creating a main query with the parameters you are using then next part we will bring some columns here let me get that quickly first name and i would like to get region and country just to show you guys now if i will preview this report I will see two parameters so I have region if I write Asia and then if I will type Pakistan I will see some records now you can see that but if I, I am passing Asia here I would like to have drop down for all the countries related to the Asia region if I would like to pass here Europe I would like to have drop down for you countries in Europe that's make them cascading depending on the value of the first parameter in our case this region the value of second parameter should change so now instead of typing every time let's go ahead and create the drop down for these parameters so let's create another data set for the region so i'm going to call this one data set region ds region and let's use a query here so we have the same data source select distinct region from db or total sale now we are good here and we can go back to the our main parameter here and we have region parameter properties and available values and we get the query uh, sorry we get the values from the query and we are going to use second data set to region and pass the region values and this one is a single value parameter so we will be selecting only one uh, region at a time because in the main query we have use equal sign for this parameter if we want to multi value we will be using in clause here and also in the parameters properties we have to tell accept multiple values now we are good here let's go to the second part as we need to have the countries we should be depending upon the values of those we select in the region parameter we have to create a new data set so we are creating a new data set and this is going to call a D set or DS country. One thing to remember here, we will be writing uh, this query select distinct country from DBO total sale where country equal to sorry where region equal to and then you will be selecting exact name of this uh, parameter. So you have to provide at the greater region so by using this one we will be selecting the countries where region is equal to the this parameter value so that's how they will become cascading so hit okay now we are all good here go to country parameter properties available values get values from the query data set and use the ds country and here we will be using country and country now also one thing we have to do here in the general we will be saying allow multi values because this parameter is a multi value parameter so hit ok and now you see that first once we select the region 
then countries according to that region will be displayed so you can have India and Pakistan as they are part of Asian region if I will select Europe now the countries will change so we have France and Germany you can select all of them and see the data so that's how you will be creating the cascade parameter and remember when you are going to explain that explain them when the value of one parameter in this case country depends upon the other parameter so in this case it is a region so all the values of countries are depending upon the value we select in the region second you have to tell them like you have you will be creating a different data sets and how the last data set is important and using the same parameter name in the last data set in our set in our case it was a ds country where we used the region parameter so we will be selecting the countries related to that region so once you explain that that will be um, they would understand really like you have the concept of how to work with the tc equal queries how to work with the properties of uh, parameters and how to connect uh, these parameters with each other one more thing i would like to tell you in case uh, uh, let's say you would like to create uh, if they ask you on top of that if you would have states uh, right next to country so what you will do so you will be creating a, a next uh, data set uh, where you will be saying select uh, distinct states from some table where your uh, where your country is equal to at the rate country so you will be using country so first uh, they will be selecting region then they will be selecting country or countries and then uh, next uh, part will be as we will pass this value to the that data set uh, let's say ds uh, state uh, where we have called select distinct states uh, from uh, table where country is equal to this country value so that's how you will be getting states for the next parameter that's great and thanks very much and all the best for your interview